Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these beautiful, super easy to make, primitive, grungy style looking candles. These are perfect for any type of farmhouse decor, that antique farmhouse kind of look, even a cottagey look, but they're super easy to make. If you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and let's just jump right into it. So I quickly wanted to talk about my favorite tripod and ring light. This is a toner 12 inch ring light with a tripod stand and I absolutely love this thing and I love that it has this cute little Bluetooth compatible remote that can easily hook up to your phone and this really neat little switch that is connected to the light and this actually controls the light settings. Now the ring light itself is made of high quality LED light bulbs and has three different color mode options and also has 10 different brightness levels which is perfect for you to film or take pictures any time of the day. So it also has a super sturdy and expandable phone holder right here, which is perfect to fit basically any kind of phone. And what I also love about this is that with a turn of this handle right here, you can simply adjust the ring light side to side, which is perfect to get like different kind of angles for your pictures or your videos. And then once you get it into the perfect position you want, you just go ahead and turn that handle again and it locks in place, which is super neat because not all of these can do that. But I also love that this has three different height settings, which is absolutely amazing. I definitely highly recommend this ring light system, and I will be sure to leave a link down below in the description box for you guys to check out. So for this DIY project, you're going to need some battery operated candles or candlesticks. Now you can use wax or plastic which will work either way for this project. You're also gonna need some acrylic paint or chalk paint, some Mod Podge, some paint brushes, pumpkin spice seasoning or cinnamon, and some dried ground coffee. And then I also have a little plate right here and some gloves, just so my hands don't get messy. But first off, I'm just gonna apply some acrylic paint on all the candles. Now I am gonna do one coat and it doesn't have to look perfect because honestly, we're gonna be doing a couple layers of some different things to these candles. Now this next step is optional, but I think it actually looks a lot better. But once the paint on the outside of the candles are dry, you're also gonna wanna paint the inside, but make sure that you do not paint over the little kind of like candle wick part, like the light part. So it isn't gonna be, you know, too dark once the candle is lit up. So once your candles are dry, you're gonna move on to the next step. So you're gonna have a little bit of the base color paint, then you're gonna add some Mod Podge, which I picked up this one from the Dollar Tree, but I know you can get it from Walmart. And then you're gonna add coffee grinds. Now, as you guys kinda of saw, I didn't really have like exact measurements, but it's based on what you really want it to look like. So if you want like super, super thick one, like base coat of this, it's kind of harder to get it on and dry, but I kind of do it like a medium consistency. So somewhat runny, but somewhat still a little bit thick. But if it is too thick for you, you can just add more Mod Podge, but make sure you give this a good stir before you apply it to your candles. And this is what it's gonna look like. So it's kind of gonna give it kind of like that grungy, old, like weathered look to it and it gives it lots of texture with the coffee grind. So you're just gonna go ahead and apply one coat to this. Now, you can do multiple coats if you want, but make sure that it is fully dry if you decide to do a second coat. So 
So once that is fully dry, I'm going to show you guys how you can get this kind of design with it with the pumpkin spice seasoning, but that's completely optional. You can also just leave it just the way it is. But all I'm doing is adding a nice coat of Mod Podge to the candle. And then I'm going to make sure that I kind of get like a little bit of a thicker coat, but also make sure that I get in all the grooves and stuff of the coffee grind since there is a lot of texture now to these candles. So once you have your candle completely coated with the Mod Podge, you're going to go ahead and randomly sprinkle around the candle the pumpkin spice seasoning, or like I said, you can use cinnamon seasoning. And then you're going to want to do like certain sections a little heavier, and then some sections a little lighter. And you can honestly go as heavy or as light as you want. You can honestly even coat the entire candle if you want. I've seen, you know, some people do that, but I like doing it this way. So then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to blend it in to the Mod Podge. Now, sometimes I will dip my brush into the Mod Podge again and just add a little bit extra, just like I'm doing now, like in certain parts where it gets a little bit heavier, but you're just gonna wanna go ahead and kinda like paint the cinnamon or pumpkin spice into the Mod Podge. And you're gonna do it to the entire candle and then you can also do it to the inside of the candles as well, but make sure that you don't get the little light part. So now I'm doing the same exact thing to the candlestick, but what I like to also do with the candlesticks that are a little bit different compared to the other candles is that if I have a candlestick that has like a thick bulb on the top compared to like these little flicker ones, I will take some Mod Podge, put a really thin coat on it, and kind of like dip my brush into like the extra pumpkin spice seasoning or cinnamon seasoning that I have on the plate and kind of just lightly go over the ball part so that kind of gives it like a really pretty primitive look as well but i love how these turn out now this is also optional once these dry you can put another coat of mod podge just to seal it but i honestly don't because it comes out perfectly fine and these are what the candles look like afterwards they are super easy to make and i love these they give you the perfect like extra little antique primitive farmhouse look to your decor and i just love how these look at night but if you guys are new to my channel and enjoyed this video please give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys next time